All right, today we are playing the new Chasm Quest. I have fallen off the edge. I'm going to dive straight into the chasm because there, what's the fun in just teleporting in there when I can drop in from above like a vulture or a hawk? I meant to say a hawk, but vultures are, I don't know. Let's go! Go to the lower levels of the chasm. How far away is that? Oh, very far. I don't want to walk all the way there. We're no longer being ceremonious. Whoa. Well, this place is just as creepy as Paimon remembers it. If it wasn't for our little investigation, Paimon wouldn't ever come anywhere near this place. Huh? Hey, look! There's someone over there! There sure is. Yanfei! <gasps> Hi! Oh. Oh, Traveler and Paimon? I didn't expect to see you two here. Yanfei? Shouldn't you be at work in Lele Harbor? What are you doing out in the middle of nowhere? Mind your business. Well, to be perfectly honest, this case is a little out of the ordinary. In fact, this is the first time I've ever witnessed the bottom of the chasm. Oh, but before I forget, could you do me a favor, please? If anyone happens to ask about me or my present whereabouts, just tell them you haven't seen me. So she's here illegally. Huh? What are you talking about? Yanfei, you didn't do something illegal, no, no, did you? not like that. Uh, look, it's quite a long story. So if you could, please just cover for me. I'll see you later. The lawyer's breaking the law, boys. We got her. We got her. Hey! And there she goes. What in Tevet was that all about? Paimon's starting to feel nervous all of a sudden. Do you think she did something illegal and now she's gone into hiding here? <gasps> or maybe something super scary happened? Don't be so naive. The world is complicated these days, you know. We should be prepared for the worst. If something really did happen, we might find ourselves becoming our accomplices. I'm glad we're all sus of Yanfei. Oh, what a It's dilemma. a little funny. Should we really cover for her? Uh, oh! Hi! Oh, hey! You over there! Yeah, you! Hi! Where did you come from? Ah, someone's coming! But that voice sounds pretty familiar! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ah, <laughs> it's you two. So, uh, what are you two doing in a place like this, huh? Wait, don't tell me! Hmm, you're on vacation. What are you doing here? I must say, you two are looking pretty good. Things been going your way lately? Cause I have been doing amazing. <laughs> uh, Ito? Who's that behind you? Hey there, I'm with the Arataki gang. Kuki Shinobu. Nice to meet you. She's very chill for being someone who's in cahoots with Ito. <laughs> oh, <laughs> all right. I almost forgot she was back there. Let me introduce you to Shinobu, the pride and joy of the Arataki gang. Let me tell you, she's one of Hana Mizaka's best and brightest, so of course she's in the gang. Shinobu takes care of practically everything in the Arataki gang. She can protect you guys too, you know. A friend of the boss is a friend of mine. You must be the traveler in Paimon. Yep, yep. Nice to meet you too, Shinobu. The pleasure's mine. I have a feeling that we'll be working together soon enough. So, uh, Ito, if she's the one that takes care of everything in the gang, then doesn't that kind of make her the gang's real boss? Yes, it does. This is the kooky gang now. Kooky gang. <sighs> Are you kidding? Of course I'm the boss. To the four corners of Tevat, there is only one boss of Hanamizaka's legendary Arataki gang, a me. Uh, okay. Paimon gets the dynamic now. A useless boss with an ultra-capable subordinate. Hey, you... Uh, uh, you know what? Forget it. The average person couldn't possibly understand the dynamics of the Arataki gang. As the leader, I can't let myself stoop down to your level. Yeah, Paimon, stop being so mean to him. He's doing his best. <laughs> anyway, have you seen a pink-haired legal, uh, mage lady? <laughs> Wears a goofy hat, knows everything, kind of short. Is she running away from Ido? Uh-oh. Her name's Yenfei. She's a legal advisor from Liyue. I thought perhaps you two would know her. Oh, no. We haven't seen her. We don't know this person at all. <laughs> ah, 
Aha, so you have seen her. Why do we trust Paimon to lie? Why do we ever trust Paimon to lie? Every single time that we trust Paimon to lie. Uh, no, what gave you that idea? Paimon didn't say anything. You're not helping. Aw, look at you getting all antsy. <laughs> Seems I was able to get to the truth after all. When someone is lying, their eyes often start wandering subconsciously. <laughs> anyway, don't worry. I assure you we don't have any ill intentions. So, uh, you guys know Yanbei? Well, she, uh, kind of saved my life, so... Yeah, you could say we've met. She saved your life? Wait, hold on. What are you two doing in the chasm anyway? You know that the Sakoku Decree has been lifted recently in Inazuma, right? Well, Shinobu wanted to come to Liyue and pick up her graduation certificate. I came along because it's safer to travel in numbers. Graduation certificate? Did you study in Liyue? Yes. I studied law at the Tongwen Academy in Liyue. Unfortunately, the Sakoku Decree was implemented just when I was home visiting my family before graduation. So I'm a few years late getting my graduation certificate. We were taking care of some errands in Liyue, and the boss got tangled up with some Millilith while we were standing in a line. He was about to get arrested when, luckily, Yenfei happened to be walking past and helped us out. Good job, Vito. Yep. If it wasn't for her, our trip to Liyue would have ended with me in the slammer. <laughs> so, you know, I just wanted to do something nice to show my heartfelt gratitude. But she said she didn't need my help with anything. I thought there's a chance she might run into trouble here on her own, so I followed her here. Yeah, just in case she needs me to come leaping to her rescue. <laughs> Listen, Granny said that a man must learn to be grateful, and I'm gonna help this legal advisor lady no matter what it takes. Uh, that's nice and all, but what if she really doesn't need your help? <laughs> You're joking, right? I mean, that's not possible. Of course she needs my help. <clears throat> Traveler. That way. Ah, great. Thanks. I'll go after her. Shinobu, time to roll. You're not my savior. Ito's coming to your rescue. Oh, boy. Appreciate the help. Until next time. Uh, Traveler, did you just send Ito the wrong way on purpose? Huh. Shinobu seemed pretty sharp. Paimon doesn't think you can pull one on her like that. Or maybe she knows that Ito can be a big nuisance, so she's trying to stop him from bothering Yanfei. Oh, if that's the case, then wow, she really knows how to call the shots. Yes. Well, at least this way nobody will be bothering Yanfei. If we run into her again later, we should let her know that we helped her out. Hmm. All right, now let's go take a look at the crash site from last time. No oh boy, here we go. Chapter officially started. Interlude Chapter Act 2, Perilous Trail. I think that's what it's called. I forgot to read it all before it went away. Maybe in this quest we can clear the rest of this black mud. Look! Yanfei is here too! Hey, Yanfei! We sent away the people that were following you. Oh, good. Thanks a lot. The guy with the weird outfit seemed super outgoing. Normally I don't mind making friends, but I've got work to do today. Oh? So what kind of work are you doing in a place like this? Aw, oh, don't tell Paimon you're thinking about becoming an adventurer too. Well, as a legal advisor, sometimes I also have to travel in person. I came to the chasm to deal with a will. A... Uh, a will? That's right. I found a will inside an old book. I'm guessing it was left by someone of great importance. It appears he lost a magical device and wished to retrieve it. Paimon didn't know legal advisors have to deal with that kind of thing. Huh, what a job! Will execution is also part of my work as a legal advisor. Of course, cases like this are quite rare. The chasm is not the kind of place you can just waltz into whenever you want. Oh, so you do know what kind of place this is. Hello? <laughs> Who's that? Ah, oh, I thought I might find you here. Elon? You meet at last. Oh, what? Whatever case you're working on in the chasm, I'm sure Liyue's top legal consultant can handle it without my input. Her voice is so pretty. Huh, 
That's funny. I thought we'd establish that my legal opinion doesn't count for anything when Yelon's around. Uh, who is she? Yelon, she just said her name. <laughs> this is Yelon. Leah is, uh... Well, let's just say she works in the Ministry of Civil Affairs. I can at least say that much, right? Anyway, she's a friend of mine. I forgot how sus Yelon is. Sure. Coincidentally, I have something to do here as well. Seems chance has brought us all together. You may not know me, Traveler in Paimon, but I've certainly heard about you. You haven't just heard about us, you've been watching us the whole time we were in here. You're all here on business, and it's my job to monitor the chasm. According to regulations, I should accompany you. But, as it turns out, I have other things that require my attention. I'm afraid I can't join you this time. You may go about your business. Just try not to make a ruckus. Yes, ma'am. Oh, that's most unfortunate. I was about to ask for your assistance. Could you spare a little time to help me take care of this will? For old time's sake? Hmm, I don't know. Depends what's in it for me. <laughs> Fair enough. I suppose even a guide needs to get paid. It just so happens that Madame Ping gave me some nice tea. I'll treat you to a cup if you agree. <laughs> Why don't you tell me a little more about how you got here first? Then I'll... Hey, you! Uh-oh. Uh, Ito? What is he doing back here? I know what you two did. You really tried to throw me off, didn't you? <laughs> and I thought we were buds. Oh, he's mad. That's close enough. Huh? Who are you? <laughs> Sorry, this area is part of the chasm. It's closed to the general public. Are you kidding me? I, I, I don't see any warning signs or fences. What gives you the right to keep me out? You know, this is why you keep getting arrested. <laughs> Kid, where there's real danger, you'll never see a warning sign. Uh, Paimon never knew this place was so important. It's true. This is not a place you can just go in and out of as you wish. That's also why I didn't want anyone to follow me. Unfortunately, you didn't listen. The Traveler has done a lot for Liyue in the past. And Yenfei is a renowned legal consultant in Liyue, so I can trust their intentions. As for you two... Hey, what's that supposed to mean? You're trying to say that I'm not famous enough and my intentions are no good? Yes. I don't know your background, so I can't give you free passage here. Besides, Yenfei doesn't seem to need your help, does she? Ha! <laughs> How would you know what Yenfei needs? What, are you two joined at the hip or something? Right. Anyway, I don't need to be a mind reader to see that. In any case, as a visitor from Inazuma, I'd suggest you defer to a local when in doubt. Stick to the local rules and keep yourself out of trouble. Oh! <coughs> Why, you? Please, try not to be so impulsive. She is right, you know. Uh-oh. Things are starting to get a little heated here. Oh, not good. You really shouldn't start butting heads with Yelon. What happens when you butt heads with Yelon? It's true that we don't know anything about the unique conditions of this place. So we'll heed your advice and leave immediately. But if this really is a dangerous area, seriously, you should put up a sign. Thanks for the suggestion. I'll consider it. Oh yeah? And what if we don't leave, hmm? Ito, please just go. Boss! Then... I'm afraid things might get... unpleasant. I changed my mind, actually. I kind of want to see them fight. Is that so? You really think you can take the two of us? <laughs> Gotta admit, I like your optimism. Although you're friends with the Traveler and Yenfei, I'd still suggest you heed my warning. <laughs> Thanks for that, but, uh, too bad I'm not buying it. If you're so strong, then why don't you show me what you got? Oh boy. Hold on, boss. There's no need to start a fight here. Oh, no. I'm going in whether she likes it or not. Please just back off. <laughs> or don't. You think I was joking around, huh? Oh, no. These two are about to go at it. I like how Aether's smiling. He's like, yeah, man, I just kind of want to watch. I'm ready to see whatever happens that comes out of this. Please, wait a minute, you two. This whole thing started because of me. Why don't you just save me the embarrassment and just... <laughs> Huh? And there's an earthquake in the chasm. Uh oh, it's a, a 
Hey, stop trying to change the subject. I'm gonna, uh, uh, uh huh? Did you not feel the ground shaking until now? Uh oh. Uh oh. And we're gone. my books under me to break the fall didn't help at all. I'd imagine not. <sighs> this place. Uh, where are we? Very deep. Uh, I'm gonna feel that in the morning. Uh, hey, Shinobu, traveler, and my savior. Is everyone okay? <sighs> well, this is an unfortunate turn of events. Hey, so, uh, how far down did we fall? Hmm. It seems the ground collapsed during our little confrontation up there. Perhaps because we triggered the elemental forces. Well, don't look at me. If you weren't so rude, maybe I wouldn't have gotten mad. <sighs> Who can put up with that kind of dude? It's my duty to stop intruders from breaking into important places. If telling the truth sounds rude, then I'm afraid you're just a little too fragile. Ooh. Hey, life's too short to give in all the time. Boss, I'm afraid you're not going to win this argument. I suggest we stop provoking her. Hey, whose side are you on here? I'm simply pointing out the facts. I understand how you feel, but you're making my life difficult by starting random fights with everyone. <laughs> Looks like Ito can't argue against either Yeon or Shinobu. He's in a real tough spot now. So Ido and Shinobi are kind of like you and me. Uh, hey, <laughs> what do you mean? Don't you dare compare Paimon to Ito! I can see it. Whoa, whoa, what do you mean? You looking for a fight too? Yes, I am. Please do fight me. Kuki looks so tired. <laughs> Paimon was just saying how it is. Everyone knows you're a bit of an idiot. <laughs> You calling me an idiot? Oh yeah? Well, you're a, a puny little flying lavender melon, ha! <laughs> flying lavender melon? Oh, that's it! Paimon's mad! Time to give you an ugly nickname! Uh, Bullchucker! Mm, you better mind your manners, Bullchucker! I like this event already. We seem to be quest. a long way down from where we fell. It's impossible to see what's going on up above. They're still fighting in the background. <sighs> it's unlikely we'll be able to climb back up that far. We'll need to find another way. I'm sorry to interrupt your lovely little chat here, but I think there's something you may need to know. The chasm is regarded as a mysterious area in Liyue. It was sealed off for years due to a mining accident. Whatever goes on down here, I suggest you remember this. You didn't see anything, you didn't hear anything, and you're not gonna ask any questions. Save you from getting caught up in things you shouldn't know about. Oh boy. I won't treat you as hostiles. And in exchange, I hope you won't make things difficult when it comes to keeping secrets. I'll do what I can to find a way out. Huh? Well, where does she think she's going? Like she said, out. to search for an exit. Chances are that Yelan is the best among us at survival and handling emergencies. We should just let her go. I'm afraid I must apologize. I don't typically disclose details of a client's will to third parties, which is why I couldn't tell you the truth. <sighs> I'm sorry. I came to the chasm in search of the fantastic compass, which is mentioned in the will. Many years ago, my client gave this magical device to someone ambitious, hoping that it'd be handy in times of need. According to an eyewitness account, the person who received the device took it into the chasm and has been missing ever since. It's about Throughout her. history, many wars have been fought in the vicinity of the chasm. Even if that person died in one of the wars, I still wish to do my utmost and find the device and fulfill the client's wish. Elon's words of caution were not Learning. unwarranted. There are dangers lurking in the chasm. I'm sure you've all realized that by now. Given that we're all caught in this mess, let's try to find a way out together. Yes, let's whatever do that. Whatever you say, my savior. I'll do whatever you ask. From now on, we're a team. All of us. And as for that big jerk, well... I guess that includes her, too. 
You said Yeon works for the Ministry of Civil Affairs, huh? Paimon can tell she's tougher than most, but... Wow. Her job sounds demanding! Well, that's what she tells outsiders. I can't disclose too much about her identity, but I'd say she's the only person who can handle this type of work. I want to know more about her identity. What kind of lame job would have someone go out to the middle of nowhere? Oh, Paimon knows! An adventurer! And Aether's face. Hey, what's with the face? Oh, did Paimon say something wrong? That's literally what the two of us do, isn't it? Oh yeah, I do the work, Paimon. You just float around. Uh, you're so stingy these days. Oh, just <laughs> let Paimon be an adventurer by association, okay? Yeah, she's got a point, Traveler. You're Paimon's boss. Take it from me. As a great leader, you should learn to be a little more generous. You know, let your sidekick share some of the glory. Thank you, Ido. Ugh, you really don't understand anything about us. Paimon, don't take him too seriously. He's just joking. Ugh. For the sake of Shinobu, fine. <laughs> I'm the boss, so I'll let it slide. Paimon, you don't need to be nice or else we're getting nowhere in this event quest. I keep saying event. Hmm. Perhaps this was another sealed location, but an undocumented one. What could be in here? Nightmares. I've got some food and water on me. If anyone needs some, just let me know. Great! You know, Bill Checker, you may not be the sharpest tool in the shed, but your subordinate here seems super capable and reliable. You're so passive-aggressive. <laughs> I know. Isn't she the best? What? Hey! I am too a sharp tool! There seems to be an entrance up ahead, with a path inside. Wonder where it leads to? Well, let's go take a look. Yes, let's do that. Are we finally free? Where oh Well I open the map and it takes me to nowhere apparently, so that's always a good sign. I was busy looking around. Who would have guessed we'd find a domain entrance in a place like this? If there's a way in, then there's a way out. Let's go and take a look. The rocks here seem to be old Liyue mountain rocks. They're similar to what I've seen in books. This domain must have existed for quite some time now. That's always a good sign. <laughs> That's not a good sign. What's that sound? <sighs> Xiao? <laughs> oh, oh, it's Xiao. Came out of nowhere. Conqueror of demons? What are you doing here? Huh? Oh, uh, I came down from above. Uh, I heard a noise, so I followed it here. Why do you sound nervous? What are you doing? So you're not here by accident. Hmm. Wanna team up? No, I have something else to do. I'm looking for someone. You shouldn't be here. I would urge you to go back as soon as possible. Well, we can't go back, but thanks for the advice, Xiao. Oh, that's Xiao for you. Shows up without a warning and disappears without a trace. Huh. That guy looked pretty tough. Maybe almost as tough as me. Seems like a solid dude. You know, Xiao would destroy you in seconds. Seriously, Bull Checker? Where do you get your confidence from? Should we really be letting him go off on his own? Oh yeah, Xiao's fine. Oh, he wouldn't listen no matter how much you tried to talk him out of it. He is super tough though, so don't worry about him. Let's just call his name and drag him right back down here. Everyone, keep your eyes and ears peeled from here on out. We don't know what lies ahead, so we have to be ready for anything. Oh, look, I'm happy to say we're all on the same team and everything, but uh, could you cut the little speeches and the whole follow the leader act? I, for one, think I should be able to look after myself. Ito, you're going to get killed in here. Boss! Ugh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, okay. You know, Bullchucker, you're a guest here, so maybe try to get along with everyone. Oh, I'm just gonna put this on auto, actually. <laughs> Please, you're not a local either, flying lavender melon. So stop trying to sound <laughs> like one. Of course, I put it on the last bid. Ooh, boy, oh boy. 